Hi there, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to turn your scene fully bitmapped. I'm going to show you how to get this effect with and without plugins. Before we get started, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. I'm going to begin with showing you how to do this with a plugin, and after that I'm going to show you how to do it without one. For the plugin part, you will need a plugin called Boris Continuum Complete, or BCC for short. Once you have your scene ready, make an adjustment layer by right-clicking, New, Adjustment Layer. Put the effect BCC Halftone on that layer. Once on there, you can see it's already starting to look halftoned, but we want to make a bitmap. Let's start by putting the HD Scale to 2.5 and the HD Smoothing to 10. Open up the Colors and Angles tab and change all the rotations to 0. Now you can start to see the effect. The more you lower your HD Smoothing, the more bitmapped your scene will become. You can make more precise adjustments with the low and high limit. You can also use the brightness and contrast to control the amount of details shown. That was the part with the plugin. Easy, right? But the part without the plugin is a bit trickier and requires a bit more personal tweaking since every scene can have different lighting and brightness. Let's create a white background by creating a new solid layer and name it background. You can create a new solid by right clicking, new solid or press ctrl y on your keyboard. Drag it under your other layers. Then start pre-composing all your other layers so you have one layer to apply everything to. Let's create a black solid and name it dots. Apply the CC Ball Action effect and put the grid spacing to 1 and the ball size to 8. After you've done that, let's create a new adjustment layer like we did before and apply a camera lens blur. Let's change the shape to square and put the blur map to your precomp and put it on effects and masks. Everything will start looking very blurry, so let's hide your precomp. As you can see it's all super white, so let's make sure invert blur map is checked. It still doesn't look like much, so let's add another effect called levels. Change the input black to 254. As you can see we now have a bitmap scene. If you want to increase the radius of the bitmap, you can lower the blur radius of the camera lens blur. I don't recommend changing too many settings besides the blur radius, but you're free to experiment to see what all the settings do. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. That was it for today, until next time. <laughs>